All right, what's going on guys? It's OMG Taggy here. In today's video, we are gonna be painting my mirrors metallic black. Now, for everybody that's followed my channel, you guys should know by now that these are plastic dipped all black and they're kind of starting to peel, as you can see right there. And I don't think I showed you guys this ever, but I think I told you about it, but this mirror got pretty damaged. I actually hit something in the road and it flew up and cracked the mirror. So honestly, I'm just doing this as kind of experiment to see how it goes, see how they look. I'm probably gonna have to get a new mirror anyways, but as you can see, there's tape holding up the actual mirror. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna real quick clean these off, get the tape off of this one. But this is what we're gonna be doing today. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put sandpaper. I just brought it out anyway, since I had it from my headlight video. So we'll see if we use sandpaper. We probably won't just because I, I don't know. I feel like it might start tearing up the plastic dip and make it look all weird, but we'll see. But anyway, so yeah, so today I have this Rust-Oleum Automotive Enamel uh, Gloss Black. So we're gonna see, I don't know if this is the actual right stuff, but this is the only thing that I could find. So I don't know if this is for plastics. We'll see how it goes though. So I have that and then I have the clear coat from my headlights. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna clean the mirrors and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so I just got them all masked off and cleaned off. Now, honestly, this one is probably gonna turn out a lot better than the other one. As you can see, it has cleaner paint on it and there is a couple chips in it from where the plastic dip got hit by rocks like right there. And I tried sanding it out, but honestly, it just peels even more. So that doesn't really matter. But anyways, yeah, so this one's probably the cleanest. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about peeling off the plastic dip because honestly, I kind of learned from my car that it takes forever to peel off plastic dip if you don't put it on in thick enough layers so i'm not even gonna worry about that because i'm just gonna make it worse and it's just gonna take forever but this one over here as you guys can see like i said the mirror is all messed up broken you can see it in the back there so that's why i had it taped but this one's gonna turn out the worst probably which i don't really care about because this is kind of just an experiment to see how this goes because i'm probably gonna have to buy a new mirror anyways like i said this thing's all messed up and uh the tape marks are up here i tried sanding them out and they kind of came out but whatever it's peeling right here so this one's going to turn out the worst obviously and right there is just some random clear coat that i sprayed on a long time ago <laughs> but uh yeah so anyways so we're gonna go set these out in the yard and get them ready for paint all right so i went out and tried putting these in the grass but then i realized that if you have it facing on this side it's not going to get painted so i had to rig this up i have some cardboard here basically what i did is i punctured it through and put a couple of the screws on so it would hold up so i'm gonna put it in the grass just like that and that gives us access to all sides so we can paint it on all sides so i did the same thing here so let's go ahead let's bring this out and let's put on the first coat So here they are after the first coat. They're still drying right now, but uh, yeah. So they honestly look better on camera than in person. So I'm gonna do probably two or three more coats, probably one or two actually more coats, and then we'll see how they look. All right, so here they are after three coats. I just let them dry for about 15 minutes. So this is probably how they're gonna look. So I'm actually debating if I should get a clear coat going or if I could just leave them how they are. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do one coat of clear coat, see what it does, and we'll go from there. But like I said, this is after three coats of the uh, automotive enamel. All right, so here is the final product. I went ahead and just put one coat of clear coat on, and they actually turned out pretty well. They're not the best, obviously, but they probably would have turned out a little bit better if I took the time and took off all the plastic dip underneath. But this is what I have for right now, and I'm pretty happy with it. It only cost me about five bucks to do, so it's not really that big of a deal. So anyways, yeah, so here it is. Like I said, it's not the best, but it was worth the five bucks. So anyways, I'm gonna let these dry. I went ahead, brought them in my garage, and let them dry. I'm either gonna put them on tonight or put them on tomorrow, and I'll show you guys how they look on the car. All right, guys, so it's the next morning here, and here are the mirrors on the car. They actually look pretty nice. They look a lot better on camera than in person, to be honest. But uh, yeah, like I said, this one turned out the best, and we'll come over here, and yeah. So this one, you know, it had a little bit of 
marks on it, especially where the tape was, but that's fine. The mirror is still broken. I need to tape that again or just fix it or buy a new one. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.